Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Um, Lou was supposed to be here today, but she is ill, she has a cold, so it's just me. And I will be doing a summer wrap-up, so I will be talking about the books I read this summer. And the first one is The Return of the King by J.R.R. Tolkien. I finally, finally finished The Lord of the Rings trilogy. Um, I've seen the movies multiple times and like a true book lover I had to read the books. I finally did that, I loved them, I adored the characters and Middle-earth is definitely one of my favorite fictional worlds. Then I read The Midnight Star by Marie Lu, the third and the last book in the Undelitz trilogy with an epic ending. I kind of predicted it but it was still very good, heartbreaking and overall a very nice end to a series. Then I read the first three books of the Beautiful Creatures series and for so long I was avoiding this series and I was so wrong to do so because I love the characters, I love the world, it's so complex, I love all the little twists and surprises and where can one find a boyfriend like Ethan? Then I read The Crown by Kara Cass which is the last book in the selection series and it was okay but a bit disappointing because Edelin, um first of all I wanted her to end up with Kyle but is his name Kyle? I think it is but he um, that didn't happen uh, then she was going to choose Henry but of course, in the end, she ended up with the guy she truly fell in love with, whose name I can't remember. Um, but I don't know, I just didn't buy that ending. It was just too unrealistic for me and, I mean, I would have loved it if she had ended up with Henry in the end. It wouldn't be the happiest of endings, but it would be much more realistic. And also, I didn't really like his translator, you know, the guy she ended up with in the end. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, so her ending up with him was just too perfect and too happy. Then I read The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, The Restaurant at the End of the Universe, and Life, the Universe, and Everything by Douglas Adams. I liked the first two books. In fact, I loved the first book. It was so funny. Um, the second one was really good too, but the third one, I don't know, I just gave up. <laughs> Um, it became boring and I lost interest in it, so I just decided not to read it. So yes, I would recommend the first two books, definitely pick them up, but the rest of the series I can't really say because I didn't read it and I don't think I ever will, because I'm not interested. <laughs> then I read I'm Not a Serial Killer by Dan Wells and that book was just something else. <laughs> I mean, I loved it, but it was, I don't know, different from every other book I've ever read. I loved uh, the mystery and I especially loved the f fantastical element. Yeah, I don't really know what to say more about this book uh, other than just read it. It's worth it. Then I read A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J. Maas and um, I don't know. Um, I mean, I like those characters and I like that world, but this novella was just so unnecessary and nothing really happened and I kind of got sick of those characters. Most of them were really annoying. I don't, I don't know why, <laughs> what happened, but uh, I don't know. I mean, it's nice of Sarah that she wrote this, but even if she hadn't, I don't think we would have missed anything. And the last book I'm going to talk about is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. I loved every bit of this book. I fell in love with Kel, who was a nice, refreshingly different main character. Lila, on the other hand, I don't know what to think of her. I mean, she has all of the traits I usually like in characters. I mean, she is confident, she's badass, she's funny, sarcastic, that's what I usually like in characters, but for some reason, I don't know whether it was the way she was written or something else, I don't know, I just couldn't... Sometimes I found her really annoying. I don't know, I like her, but I don't. 
<laughs> anyway, um, apart from characters, I also really like the world. I think it's a very interesting idea. Um, and I can't wait to see what other books have in store for me. And I would definitely recommend you to pick this book up and give it a try. I don't think you will regret. I just realized there's another book I want to talk about. And it's the last book in the Oxa Pollock series. Now, I don't know how many of you know about this series because it's <clears throat> written by two French authors. It has been translated to Croatian. However, I don't think it has been translated to English or at least not the whole series. So it's not as widely known. Basically, it's a fantasy series set in our world and... Um, something like Harry Potter, let's say. I've been waiting for a very long time to be, for this to be translated to Croatian because obviously I don't know French. Um, because I really, really like this series. It is a bit, you know, for probably for a younger audience, um, but nevertheless, I love it. Although I did find the main character, Oxa Pollock, a bit annoying in this book and too childish because she's 17 and she acts like she's still 13. Uh, which she was in the first book, so I don't know. She was a bit annoying, but um, other than that, it was also a nice ending to a series. Not too happy, which I kind of am beginning to like these kind of endings, which are a bit heartbreaking, but still nice. Also, I want to say I do not like who she ends up with in the end, but um, that's okay. I can have the other guy for myself then. And that's all the books I wanted to talk about. I did read a couple of other books, but I don't know, they were okay, nothing special, so I didn't want to mention them in this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you have read any of these books, please let me know what you thought about them so we can talk about them, and I'll see you next Friday. Bye!